Now another question which is asked frequently that whether any activity which is beyond the schedule 7 can be treated as a CSR activity or not. So there are two things which you have to understand. One, no. If you are doing any activity beyond schedule 7, then it will not be treated as CSR activity. But you have to remember one more thing that the government has clarified <coughs> that the schedule 7, all the entries in the schedule 7 must be interpreted liberally. What exactly it means? For example, uh, in schedule 7, there is one entry which suggests promotion of education. So uh, you want to promote education. Now, if you see uh, the word education, uh, you may see, uh, you may feel that it is a formal education like school and colleges. You want to contribute uh, to that only, but it is not like that. Education, word education should be interpreted liberally. So if you are providing any knowledge or you are developing skills in any field, it will come under the uh, wordings of uh, education. So this is what you have to remember that any activity beyond Schedule 7 will not be treated as CSR activity. However, all the entries given in the Schedule 7 can be interpreted liberally. Hello friends, I am C. Shantanu Bethe, your coach and as you are already aware that An Academy is the biggest e-learning platform in India and uh, it's my honor that An Academy has invited me to take some guest lectures on their platform. There are various schemes which An Academy keeps on running and uh, there is one scheme which is going on that is the CSEET scholarship test. So I would like to inform you about the same in this video, 40 MCQs, 40 minutes, 16th of May 2022, this is the date when this scholarship test will be conducted at 12 p.m. And if you get a rank, then you will get some scholarship up to 50% and some uh, gifts also like Sony speaker, Amazon Kindle, Amazon Eco Dot, 4000 and 3000 gift vouchers. But please remember that when you will enter into this test, you will be asked to enter one code. So you can use CS Shan code while entering into this scholarship test. If you want subscription of an academy, definitely you can use the same code CS Shan to buy the subscription of any course, whether it is CA course, CS course, CMA or UPSC, banking, railway, whatever course you are interested in, you can use CS Chan code to buy the subscription. So thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.